Greetings, and this video comes as channel messages from Goddess Lilith, and she's referring to both men and women, or any other gender or that、uh, that you associate yourself with. Listen to what she has to say. Respect women. By respect is meant not only an outward show or trying to act as if you're thoughtful about women, but internalize this respect. It is the very seat of power. The divine womb, from which all of you are born, and to which all of you return, it is the void where creation takes place. You are nurtured, taken care of, held in the warmth of the womb of the goddess. Your mother. Treat all women as an embodiment of the mother, the divine feminine. If you are a man, or identify yourself as the masculine, honor every woman in your life. In any form, they have a lot to teach. It's not only your mother, but every woman. See her with the eyes beyond just her flesh. A woman, and not just her body. She is not just her body. She has a soul, which is forgotten, or which is kept to a side. And all that is the focus of attention is her fragile frame, which you think you can manipulate in any whichever way that you choose. If you manipulate the divine feminine, all you get. Is weakness, whether you realize it or not. You become weak. You're spent. But if you love her, respect her, cherish her in any form, you give your heart, you infuse your soul into the divine feminine. What you get is strength, power. Because women are the embodiment of Shakti, and Shakti means power. It is not the man or the divine masculine who is power, but Shakti is divine feminine. She is the power. You, as the divine masculine, wield the power or hold the power. You hold the power. When you're respectful of the divine feminine, when you consider her to be an inseparable part of you and your existence, when you try to use her, manipulate her, dominate her, degrade her, abuse her, verbally, physically, sexually, emotionally, you're losing yourself as a man. You're losing the very power. The shakti that runs inside of you. This dynamic power or shakti can be held by you, but not through force, through understanding, respect, and love. You can reach great heights by invoking the divine feminine, by going deeper into the feminine wisdom, the dark void. 
the womb of the Divine Feminine. Cherish it. It is not only to penetrate. No. It is to nurture. It is to love. See how things change in your favor when you do this. And for the women, respect yourself. Even if you have to move away from someone you love or you have to fight with someone you care about, don't accept abuse, humiliation. You're not your body. You as the Divine Feminine are a goddess, the Shakti, the power in yourself. The simple things you do, simple daily chores, taking care of the family, nurturing your kids, the job of a teacher, a boss, or any other little thing that you do, like cooking, tending to the needs of others, this gives you power. Because if all this is removed, if you refuse to nurture and care, living, in fact the very survival, would be at stake. You care, nurture, express and share love. Let your emotions touch you and others' lives. Flow like the river, like water. Be the keeper of depths, mysteries and secrets. When the right time comes and the right student or person comes, you shall teach or share these mysteries and this knowledge. Be in your receptive mood. Be the woman that you are. You're loved, you're needed. Be the Shakti that you are. The Shakti that inspires the Divine Masculine. That was all. And I, as a daughter of the great Mother Lilith, I'm happy to share this with you all. It was a joint effort by both of us, mother and daughter. I hold you in high regard, my beloved Mother Lilith. Bless us all who walk your dark, divine path. Blessings.